Now, welcome back, our resident designer, Hamish Dodd. And you've been tiling. I'm quite excited you've brought something for us to look at. I know. I love tiles. Um, I love them everywhere. Floors, walls, bits and pieces. Particularly like them for kitchen splashbacks and splashbacks in laundries. Yeah, that's uh, a good you know, look, I, isn't I it? I kind of like a tiled splashback in a laundry. It's, I think it's a style that never goes off trend. It's always something that looks clean and, and nice. It does. So, so what I've done here is this is the um, Touch Bianco tile. Okay. Right. It's new to the market. You'll notice it has a crinkly edge to it. Yeah, I was I wondering that. that. So does that make it easier or harder? Well, if <laughs> we all know that I would pay someone to yes. tile. <laughs> we do. But <laughs> we in, do. The, in the interests of being fair, uh, this is probably something that you could do yourself at home. You could use this tile. Because it has an uneven edge, you don't have to be as fussy about the grout lines and things lining up. Because you imagine if you're using a very straight tile right. and smaller brick tiles like this, across a long stretch of the wall, we don't want to see this sort of thing going on. No. Right. We want a straight line. I personally could not achieve that, as Mel pointed out earlier on. <laughs> um, and so I would be using this tile should I be having a go myself. So it, the wavy line, it doesn't matter. The whole look of it is it's meant to be a little bit uneven. Correct. I mean, these are, these are hugely, we'll use that term, on trend at the moment. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, when I was in Sydney, saw them everywhere. Right. Okay. And what's cool is you can get an array of colours, so you can choose how you want to lay them. Just take a step back for a moment. You said brick. Is this the way you've laid them out? Is this a special They technique? are a brick tile due to the rectangular shape of them, but I have laid these in a brick pattern, much as you'd see bricks on a house. Mm -hmm. We used to do them stacked, so you'd see them one after the other, you know, right. straight lines. I'm not a huge fan myself. I think it's seen its day. Uh, there'll be people who argue with that, but hey... We're paid for my opinion here, really, aren't we? <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take that one. Uh, I like them bricked. And yeah, thing nice to remember up. is if you are using two colours, you can still brick them like this. If you switch to three, you can brick them, but you have to randomly lay them. Otherwise, you will end up with stripes. OK. Because every third tile will be the same. OK, There's so we've got example some examples there. on the screen. So I can see the colour mixing up there, which is quite nice. So let's talk a little bit about colours, shall we? Yeah, yeah. So you've got, what, three different colours in that one? There, there are three in that one, but there are seven in total. Right. And on top of that, on top of that, oh, I'm reaching down, I'm getting too old for reaching to the ground. Matt. We have matte as well, oh, should oh, you like want matte. matte. Yeah, matte yeah. is quite nice. It's, it's, it's a different... I probably would stick with gloss myself. What's easy to clean? Laundry. Well, yeah. I think gloss is, personally. <laughs> okay, then that's Matt what go with. sort of shows bits and pieces. But, hey, in saying that, you know, something that looks good can take a little bit of extra work. And how much? Well, that's the, that's the perla. OK, I picked these up at the, um, the Tile Depot May sale, and you're talking $45 a square metre. Now, there's an Italian version of it that's around $150 a square metre. So wow. these are good value for money. Yeah. I, I love them. And I think you can get a lot of effects. So if we were, as you can see, there's a, like a baby grey-blue sort of colour, a nice mid-grey. Have fun. Maybe the blues and the greys could work nice. for your Nice. Luxury's affordable. I'm actually in the market for a splashback. I'd, I've been living in a kitchen with none for about a long time. And what do people usually use? It's usually glass, isn't it? So do you think there's a bigger sway yeah, towards folk. this? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, this is the thing. If you compared, like, a simple plain glass splashback, you're probably not on some huge saving right. binge here. But... I think at the moment, tiles work. Nice. OK, I like the look Beautiful of this. Beautiful finish. Nice yeah. look, and I think it'll be easy for me to keep clean, and I'm all about keeping things clean. Hey, Mish, thank you so much. I can't believe you put your own wall up. That's impressive, If he, said, if he said he could do it, anyone can yeah, do it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>